to my channel. Holi is just round the corner and it is so important to take care of your hair and skin in the festival of colors. So today I'm going to share some really simple tips to keep your hair and skin safe and healthy. So let's get started. Hair gets damaged and dry around this time. So prepare it for the colors at least a day before. Apply some baby oil in the hair the night before Holi. It will make a protective layer on the hair. The reason I suggest baby oil over coconut or any other oil is that baby oil is much lighter in texture and is still nourishing. It won't weigh your hair down or appear sticky. You may also apply some argan oil before the holy party to avoid any kind of oiliness. Go ahead with coconut or olive oil if you don't mind the stickiness. Apply oil thoroughly from roots to hair tips in order to avoid any damages done by the colors. The next morning, brush the hair thoroughly. If there are knots and tangles, the color is most likely to get trapped in these areas. Also, it is advisable to tie up the hair in braids or even buns. This will protect them from unnecessary exposure to color and water. You can also wear caps and bandanas if you wish to. So I am back after the holy party. And you can see how much color I have on my hair. Since I had oiled my hair, the colors wouldn't have done much damage. Start with shaking off the colors from the hair. At least the dry color can be removed like so to begin with. Then use a comb to further get rid of the color trapped in your braid or bun. Like so, almost 30 to 40 percent of the dry gulal can be brushed off. Rinse the hair with plain water first to wash off as much color as you may. This will make your shampoo's job easier and will ensure that you don't use too much shampoo. Use a mild shampoo to wash off the colors. Don't use too much shampoo in desperation to wash off colors in one go as it will turn your hair dry and frizzy. After the shampoo, Pat the hair gently with a towel to squeeze out any excess water. Now I would like to give my regular conditioner some boost to provide my hair with extra nourishment. Choose any conditioner that works best for you. Take some out in a bowl. Also take some aloe vera gel. It can be store bought or even natural. Aloe vera gives super shine to hair and controls dryness. We would also require half a tablespoon of baby oil in this blend. Why I'm not using coconut or any other traditional oil is because they couldn't be rinsed out with plain water. And here, the conditioner would obviously be rinsed off with just plain water. Apply this on your damp hair thoroughly from lengths to tips. It will help you restore the lost moisture and softness. Leave it for 5-6 to six minutes and wash it off with plain water. Air dry the hair and brush. As you may probably tell how aloe vera has made my locks appear shinier. If the color hasn't left, don't worry. Repeat the shampoo and conditioner after a day. How to prepare your skin before Holi? The night before you indulge in color play, Take 1 tablespoon of olive oil and 1 tablespoon of almond oil. Mix it well. Olive and almond oil are extremely rich in vitamin E and are easily absorbed by the skin. They will heal any dry patches and flaky skin while you sleep. Apply it thoroughly on the face and the rest of the body parts that will remain exposed in holy. Massage gently. It will form a protective layer on the skin. The next morning, before going out to celebrate Holi, use a mild cleanser to wash the skin. Now apply some baby oil on the face and all the other exposed areas. The best part about baby oil is that it easily gets absorbed in the skin without making it appear too oily. Also, it won't allow colors to penetrate too deep into your skin pores. You can also use any moisturizer 
if you don't prefer oil. However, moisturizers would not be able to resist colors that effectively. Once the oil has been absorbed, wear a BB cream or a light foundation if at all you wish to. I generally wear it to even out my skin tone. Baby oil really forms a smooth base to wear makeup on. Once back, don't worry too much about the color and just relax. First, let's just wipe away the dry gulal. I am using some baby wipes as they are gentle on the skin. Do it gently and don't rub your skin too much. Now use a cleanser to wipe out the colors from the skin pores. Again be very gentle and don't rub vigorously. Since cleansers open up the pores, I would spray some cold toner or rose water to calm the skin down after harsh activities of the colors. You can always keep your toner in the fridge to make it cool and thus more effective. Let it settle on the skin. Wipe it out after 5 minutes with a fresh tissue. It's time to thoroughly clean the skin naturally and bring its glow back. Take some plain unflavored yogurt in a bowl. You may use raw milk if your skin is too oily. Add a few drops of lemon juice. Lemon juice clears out the impurities from the skin and evens out the skin tone. However, if your skin is sensitive or acne prone, lemon should be avoided. Add 1 tablespoon of basin or gram floor. Basin is great to polish the skin gently and brighten it up. Add a pinch of turmeric. Now comes the most amazing ingredient and that is Muleti, which is also known as licorice in English. This is a great Ayurvedic method to improve complexion, clear out impurities, blackheads and scars. You may find Muleti at Indian grocery stores or stores selling Ayurvedic products. If unavailable, use sandalwood powder instead. Make a thick lump free paste. Apply a thick layer on the face and other body parts. Leave it for 20 minutes. Now begin massaging in circular movements to remove it. It will mildly exfoliate and bring out a bright complexion from within. Wash off with plain water. Don't use any soap or face wash. Apply some moisturizer if required. Repeat once a day to get rid of stubborn color stains. So if you found this video useful, do share it so it may help others. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a very happy and colorful home. And I'll see you always soon. Bye.